Hey, what's up guys? I got a awesome, awesome bag here to review. Uh, this is one of my favorite bags, my favorite camera bags in a long time. I didn't think I was gonna fall in love with it, but I did. And I've been wanting to do this review for quite a while and I'm finally getting a chance to go ahead and talk to you about this Peak Design Everyday Sling, the 10 liter version. Now, what is um, surprising to me about this bag is I didn't think I was gonna like a sling. I know that was kind of a trendy thing and I was like, well, let me just try it and see. Uh, if nothing else, it'll give me a, something I can review on YouTube. Uh, but um, I fell in love with it. I'm amazed at the design of this bag and I just wanna show you guys a little bit more about it. I know you've probably seen it on other channels and I've uh, been thinking about it, but I want to show you a couple of the ways I'm using it and what's important to me about it and what I think sets it apart from, from other slings. Uh, before I get into that, you should know if you're new to this channel, what I talk about is this digital life. Things that, that we need to get through the day. Like for me, putting all the st my digital stuff inside of a bag. I, I really like bags, so I do a lot of bag reviews. But also we've got cameras and computers and... Uh, software, uh, there's all kinds of just technology chats and stuff like that. So that's what this channel is about. There's no super consistency, but um, bags is a big part of it and also just cameras. So I'm a professional photographer and a, and a, and a uh, videographer. And so like I'm always using stuff and trying it out, trying to make my life a little better. And I share what I learned with you guys. So that's what this channel is all about. Now the Peak Design Everyday Sling 10 liter, uh, you know, a couple of things about it. First, it's weatherproof. That's one of the great things about it. They've got um, AquaGuard zipper covers on here um, on, on, the, on the outsides and it's just, it's just durable. They've built it in a, in a way that makes it very strong. But there's a couple of features about it that I think are really setting it apart for some of the things that I, that I that I do, I travel a lot, and I really wanted a bag that I could carry with me when I'm walking around in a city doing street photography. And this bag excels at that. Now the things that I think are important for a bag like that is it needs to carry the stuff that's gonna get you through that day. One of the places that a lot of the other bags fall short on is a water bottle holder. Now this bag does not fall short. You may not even notice, but I have a, a full-size water bottle in here, and I wanna go ahead and get that out of the way first so that we can talk about some of the other stuff. This outside zipper right here opens up, and it's got a full-size water bottle. Now, what's great about this pocket is it's expandable. So it, it totally expands in and out, like you can put whatever you want in here from a space perspective. But you may notice I've got my Joby Gorilla Pod on the outside of here. Uh, to get that off, you just sling, slide these up and you've got the, uh, the straps here to, to hold an umbrella or a tripod or you know those photographers that do yoga. Um, but you got that right there. And, and for getting around, for your vlogger, you're getting through the day, you're trying to get through an airport or whatever, having a nice place to stash this thing just right underneath, out of the way, that's perfect. But now that we got the, the tripod off of there, we can actually cinch this down and close up that pocket so that it's no longer taking up space. And that really changes the profile of the bag. It's so much thinner. You can still use this pocket for passports or or various uh, pens and pencils and stuff like that, but it really changes the depth of this pocket in a good way. Now these straps, uh, one of the smart things Peak Design does is they give you ways of hiding these, um, hiding the, the, the excess strap. So you can basically get that excess strap in here and kind of get it hidden so you don't have hidden, or you don't have dangly straps, which for, for somebody who likes a minimalist aesthetic, this is a great way to, to, uh, to do it. You just hide these straps with the little elastic bands that they've got right there. And there you go. Very, very well executed solution. Um, I think it's great. 
And then as soon as you want to put some more stuff in one of these pockets, you want to put your water bottle back in there, you can actually just loosen it up. And these things give you actually quite a bit of space. You got a lot of room in here to put something like a jacket, uh, a big tripod. I mean, there's, there's a lot of room in there you can kind of see. Um, so that's, that's one of the great things about this bag is that it has this outside area for storage in it and you can put a full size water bottle in this expandable, expandable pocket. So not, a, not a lot of bags have that sort of functionality. So that's the outside. That's, that's that stuff. The couple of other things I want to uh, talk about a little bit before we dive into the middle is that um, the strap is a really smart design strap. So we, so we get this on, I'm gonna try and avoid the microphone. We get this on there and you just carry it. You wanna carry it around your back. This thing, this clip, it, it makes it easy to cinch up so you get a nice tight carry right on your back. But you wanna shoot you just sling this up and the bag swings around. I know it's hard to see and it's ready to go. Let me put this down a little bit. You got a nice way to just sling this tight around your back like that. There you go. But then you want to loosen it up. You just got this little clip right here. You just sling it up and it adds all this slack in the line on the, str on the strap and you sling the bag around and you can have easy access into the bag like this. You get your camera out and you're ready to shoot. So that is a smart strap, but one, I'll tell you a little bit, one of the things that make this, one of the things that makes this unique for me is that sometimes I wanna carry this just on one shoulder. And I can do that with this bag. And it hangs just fine. Cause someday, sometimes I got a backpack on or I've got other material with me and I'm just not necessarily trying to have a sling on my back. I just want to have a quick access bag. So this hangs on my shoulder pretty much perpendicular. And it, it's not hanging weird. It's not going in a different funny direction. It just hangs right there. And the more I sort of use this clip to tighten it, there we go. I feel really good about that not going anywhere. It just hangs right by my arm. And like I'm ordering coffee. I'm talking to people, I'm walking around. I don't feel like this bag is gonna go anywhere. It's just hanging right where I want it to hang on one shoulder without much problem. Okay, so that's what I like about it from the outside. Um, let's dive into the inside a little bit. You, I think you'll be amazed at how much gear I've actually got in here. It's one of the other things, it's deceptively large for storage. I have a lot, I have a lot of stuff in here. So you already saw I have a tripod, a water bottle. We're already quite a, quite a far ahead of many other bags. Zippers are nice and smooth. It opens to the outside, which is nice for a sling. But this gets into the area where, I, where it, you gotta carry the things you wanna carry. So for me, sunglasses are very important. I have sensitive eyes, so I always need sunglasses. And being able to carry extra stuff inside your bag is important water bottles sunglasses maybe some souvenirs or some lunch or some food or something so anyway in this bag i have mostly the the camera lenses i use i've got the canon uh, the sorry the fuji xt3 with a 16 to 55 lens on there it's kind of a decently sized system here and the peak design leash strap on there which i may make a separate video about i've got this giant lens, the 55 to 140, which is kind of, or 50 to 140, I mean, it's kind of like the 70 to 200 from Canon. It's a little smaller, but it's still really big. And then I've also got in here a 10 to 24. So I've got a camera and three lenses, plus sunglasses, water bottle, and tripod. And that gets us to the inside. Now. We've got built-in divider, sorry, they're, they're removable dividers, but they have the famous Peak Design 
uh, fold down flap that gives it the ability to make little, you can make a shelf with that. You can, you can put lens, you can put two lenses on there, get one in the middle. So it, it gives you a lot of flexibility in, in uh, protecting your stuff, but also giving you a lot of room to work with. But they're also totally removable. You just pull them right out, just like any other normal divider. You just pull them right out. Now it's set up just the way I want it, so I don't want to pull them out. But we're not done yet. Inside of this, this whole thing is Velcro. Um, so you can put these anywhere you want. But we also have a, a laptop pocket. If This is where it gets a little interesting. Right now, in this, and today I've got the iPad in there. Because, I'll tell you what, with all, of, uh, with all of this gear in here, I couldn't get the laptop, my 13 inch laptop to fit, but I wanted to show you that it does fit. So once the bag is empty, this fits in there just fine. It, what it does is it actually stands up a little bit above the edge of the rim here. So what's okay about that though, is that you can, you can still get the zipper around it. Now it's a little, it's a little tall for a 13 inch. I mean, it's a little tight for a 13 inch. I feel like there's a little bit of a danger of you hitting the edge right on that corner there, but it fits. That's what's amazing about it. So um, it doesn't necessarily fit when you have it fully loaded. So it's more like, an 11 inch MacBook Pro would fit just fine. Uh, uh, one of the larger iPads would fit just fine. Or if you didn't put so much stuff in there, you could fit a 13 inch MacBook Pro in there. I, I did that when I was in, I carried this bag around with me when I was uh, in Los Angeles for a while and I had my laptop and I had my camera stuff in here. Makes a great, great day bag for that kind of stuff. Now, we're getting into Another pot, uh, another area. This feels just super nice. I don't know what material this is, but it feels like uh, really smooth, like one of your favorite t-shirts or a uh, little bit thicker, but it's, it's velvety. It's, uh, it's comfortable. It's cottony kind of, it feels great. So that pocket feels nice. But in here, there's a pocket with a lot of room in here. So in this pocket, I've got memory cards, I've got field notes, some pens and pencils. I've got camera batteries. And by the way, th this has four mesh stretch, not mesh, but just kind of a, a fabric pockets in here along the top here. So you can fit, you know, I've got business cards in there and I've got camera batteries in here. Uh, the kind of built in, keep your camera batteries separated and organized. Uh, I think it's a fantastic way to do it, but one way that they went even above and beyond expectations is that they gave you these little color-coded stitching on here. Um, it's maybe a little hard to see there, but they've got two that are red stitching and two that are black. And I think the reason for that is you can put used memory cards and unused memory cards or dead batteries and good batteries. And so you can have a little color-coded system in order to uh, keep yourself organized. Now these pockets are not all the same size. They're the two in the middle are good for batteries. The two on the edges are a little larger. And so I think the, the business cards fit a little better on the, uh, on the outside one. Um, but this is a pretty, pretty spacious pocket. I didn't even have it all the way full. Um, uh, but I think you can fit, you put the sunglasses in there, you can still fit like something kind of bulky in that pocket and I think that's really good. I don't think a water, let's try a water bottle. I don't think a water bottle is going to fit in there. Oh, I was wrong. You got room for a water bottle in there, but makes it a little tricky to close and it's definitely going to, you're definitely going to sacrifice some space in there with all your gear in there. So it's not the first choice, but in a pinch, maybe you, maybe it works for you. You got a water, 
Plus, you, it's dangerous to put a water bottle in this close with your gear, just in case it leaks a little bit. But it's nice to know that's how big this pocket is. It's pretty spacious in there. Okay, so that's the inside, um, and that's a lot of the things I want to talk about, but let's go back to the outside for a second. The, the, the handles, the handle across the back feels, uh, it's padded, it's a, it's, it's a seatbelt type material with a foam interior, and it's just a comfortable handle to grab onto and yank on the bag if you need it. The, the bag comes with, with, with uh, touch grab handles here that are a little tough to grab, but they have a specific purpose. One of the tools that Peak Design makes is the, the tool called the Peak Design Capture. I think that's what it's called, and it's the Capture Clip or something like that. And so, um, you've probably seen this on other people's channels, but you've got the back, you've got the bag on you, and you can put the camera, you don't want to do it with the strap dangling, but you've got the, the clip here on the bottom. You can just slide the camera in. Let's do it here. You can just slide the camera in and it clips in, and then you've got the camera ready to go. Just out of just sling the bag up, press the release, pull the camera off, and you, you're ready to shoot. And so that's perfect for walking around in the city. Like, I, I trust this. I don't think my camera's going anywhere. Oh, except at the point where I've got it screwed into the clip. But if I tighten that up, it's fine. Um, and it, it's just made, it's, the whole system is made to go together. And you press the release, you got your camera ready to go. So, when you've got the bag on you and the camera's just ready to go, you sling the bag around, pull the camera up, shoot, 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 clip it back on, you're ready to go. So they, I mean, the amount of thinking that went into this bag, the attention to detail, you can tell that this company, they, they're photographers. They're definitely photographers. And so they know what photographers like and what they need, at least some, some photographers. And, and I, it turns out I'm one of those photographers. So I think this is a, a really fantastic bag for a day trip around the city. You're walking around in a foreign place, just doing street photography. Or you're, you know, maybe you're a, uh, you bike around the city and you just need a bag that's tight to your back uh, to ca have your camera stuff in. So there is a, just a wide variety of people who might find this bag useful. I think it's really nice looking too. Uh, this is the charcoal and black version. They make several different color colors of this. Um, and I think one of the things that I haven't tried yet, but they but they, the website talks about is that you can pull this so tight that the bag packs down uh, that you can actually travel with it empty inside of a suitcase and you, like it saves room so you can actually just use it when you get to your destination like it packs flat Um, I would argue that it, that it's pretty, it's pretty flat. Like it definitely, it's definitely not disappearing, but it's pretty flat. I mean, that doesn't take up that much room. So if you know you're going on a trip that takes you around in the city and, uh, you're gonna be walking around, you can throw this in the bottom of your suitcase and then pull it out when you get there and have a great day bag. So that's the Peak Design Everyday Sling 10 liter. That is a camera bag that I bought out of curiosity and turns out I fell in love with it and I use it a lot. I missed it. I didn't take it to Europe with me, but I, I guarantee I was missing it. I was, I was thinking about it. I was like, man, I, I should have brought that bag with me. It was the perfect bag to walk around in, in Europe with. So anyway, that's the Peak Design bag. I'm happy to try and answer any questions you have. I've got a, a lot of other bags to review. In fact, coming up in a, in a future video, um, I've got a bunch of sling bags to look at. Um, I've got, I think I'm gonna do like a, a sling video. I've got several different sling bags just to try out and see if any of these lower cost sling bags are any good. 
Um, I bought them all off of Amazon and they're all about 50 bucks. And I just wanted to see if something, this was like 150 bucks or it was. And I wanted to see if a lower cost sling is, is worthwhile or not. So that's a future video I'm gonna do. Um, but I guarantee you, none of them are as good as this bag. So that's it. If you like what I'm talking about, you like camera bags, you like cameras, software, computers, technical stuff, travel, business things, you know, uh, we'll talk about a lot of it on this channel and I'm happy to, it, you know, respond to things that you guys are interested in. If you say that you like certain things, I may try and talk more about those things. So hit me up in the comments, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share it with your friends on social networks. I will catch you guys on the next one.